What's going on guys? Just got back from the gym and I'm gonna make myself my post-workout shake so I decided to make a video and show you guys what I do. Ingredients here, we got natural peanut butter. Ingredients are peanuts and salt, strawberries, some kale, and some old-fashioned oats that I store in an old protein tub. I like to weigh everything out so I start with the oats. A half cup is 40 grams. And we got two tablespoons of peanut butter, which is 32 grams. Can do less. I usually only do one tablespoon, but I am really low on my fats for the day so far, so I need to get them up. I'm only at 11 grams. Now, strawberry time. I usually do the full 140 grams, but I don't think I have that much left. We'll see. Zero it out. Yeah. 117. Not bad. Almost forgot the protein powder. That wouldn't have been good. So I'm gonna do one scoop of that. I actually weigh it out. And that's 33 grams is one scoop they say. And this is the end of this. I'm using Complete Nutrition's Annex chocolate peanut butter flavor. Really good. Highly recommend it. Give it a shot. And then at the end here, I don't really weigh the kale. I just stuff this thing full of it. Kale is very nutrient dense. Probably the best vegetable for you. Nice and packed. Had a little extra sweetness. One stevia packet. Zero calorie sweetener. And then just a little water. Just add water until, well it kind of depends how thick you want it. I like mine fairly runny so it comes, they could drink it easier. Let's blend this up in the Nutribullet and chug it. All right, and there you have it. Nice and runny, the way I like it. Um, let's go over the macronutrients here. Um, I calculated it out and with the two tablespoons of peanut butter, that adds quite a bit of calories, but we have 37 grams of protein, 48 grams of carbs, and 20 and a half grams of fat, which ends up being 524 calories. So you could adjust it accordingly. If you want less carbs, you could just cancel out some of the oats, get rid of those. Um, and then peanut butter, that obviously adds a decent amount of fat. So just use one tablespoon, or if none, if you don't want as much fat. Let's give it a taste test here. I know what it's gonna taste like, but. Oh yeah, on point. If you have any recommendations as far as videos you guys wanna see, that uh, nutrition, more recipes, workouts, uh, anything with meal planning, supplementation, things like that. Just give me recommendations and I'm more than happy to help. Thanks for watching again and give this a shot. I promise you'll like it.